In this video, we will take a look at the assumptions for regression. But first, let's take a look at why it is important to understand these. Here is the ANSQAM Scordet. It's a set of four different datasets that look completely distinctive from each other, but have the same regression line. They also have the same mean for both X and Y. This illustrates the deceptive nature of numbers. When performing regression, violation of even one of the regression assumptions puts you at risk for an inaccurate model. So let's get started. But do note that the video will be technical, and it may seem a lot to take in for the first time, so feel free to repeat the more difficult sections and to explore additional resources. First, there must be a linear relationship between the variables. Regression lines will be misleading if your data isn't approximately linear. One way to check this condition is to make a scatter plot of your data. If the data looks, it can roughly fit a line, then it will satisfy the condition. But even if the data is generally linear, linear regression is sensitive to outliers as can be seen in the following graphs. The best course of action is to delete extreme outliers from your data, as a single outlier may significantly impact the regression line. Secondly, variance of errors should be constant, and the technical term for this is homoscasticity. The points in your dataset should form a tube-like shape like on the graph shown here. The graph on the left shows data that represents the shape of a cone where the errors are becoming larger. Thirdly, the error terms, which are also called residuals, should not have any correlation among themselves. Consequently, we're trying to avoid the second error correlating with the first error. Finally, the data points should be normally distributed around the regression line, which is called normality of error distribution. If we draw a histogram of the residuals, the plot should follow the normal distribution, meaning that the majority of the residuals have a value close to zero with only a few outliers. This was a lot to take in, so let's make a review. Firstly, there should be a linear trend in the data without the presence of extreme outliers. Next, variance of errors should be constant. Thirdly, independence of errors means that there is no correlation among the errors themselves. Lastly, normality of error distribution means that most of the errors are close to zero with few outliers. For multiple linear regression, there are two additional problems that you may run into. Let's first take a look at overfitting. There's a possibility that the algorithm fits the training data too well. Overfitting occurs when the model captures the trends in the training data too well. Consequently, the model usually performs poorly on new, unseen data. The solution is to reduce the number of parameters, for example, by regularization, which introduces mathematical constraints that favor regression lines that are simpler and have less terms. The second problem is called multicollinearity. When you add more input variables, it creates relationships among them. For example, increasing backyard space increases the property's grid space. These two variables are directly correlated. This will influence the parameters of the model, and it becomes almost impossible to determine which parameters have the biggest influence on the price. So, the question is, how many variables should you incorporate in your training data? Unfortunately, there's no simple answer. The best way is to take the golden middle path, not overloading your training data with useless variables, but also not eliminating potentially useful variables. Every case is different, and a good approach is to employ domain knowledge in the selection of variables. Other methods, such as regularization, might also work for your problem. But sometimes, trial and error is required to find the best solution. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. For more information, I invite you to take a look at the video on simple and multiple linear regression.